Hi there, this is Mark. In this video I will demonstrate a problem I am experiencing with my new AMD EPIC server board from Gigabyte, the MZ32ER0. What is the first thing you do when you have installed a new motherboard into your computer? You plug in a keyboard and monitor and enter the BIOS to check if the CPU and memory is correctly recognized. But the problem with this board is there is no video output. Let's demonstrate this. Ok, the video cable is connected to the motherboard and also the keyboard is connected. So let's power on the server. Nothing is shown on the monitor because simply there is no input signal. Let's wait for the numlock key to get lit. Normally the numlock is um, lit after the post BIOS process. And this is the moment uh, when you can press the delete key to enter the BIOS. Of course I have submitted a ticket at the Gigabyte support desk and after waiting a full week I got a response uh, of all kind of standard possible actions which I have already tried. Um, and I decided to send back the board to the seller and got my board replaced with another one. But unfortunately this board has also got the same problem, no video output. Ok, the numlock key has lit, so let's press the delete key to enter the BIOS. But unfortunately there is no video output. This board is equipped with uh, remote management uh, software, it's called BMC. Um, Uh, this board has um, a management server called Megarack BMC. The management console is accessible by network and you can for example power on and off the server remotely. And it turns out that the CPU and memory is correctly installed. But there is also a remote console but this has also no signal unfortunately. And it is shown that the server is powered on and I'm running the latest uh, firmware version. Ok, by accident I found out that the server boots correctly but the problem exists only when a, a video cable is connecting during the post BIOS process. So if you connect the cable after the post BIOS, the video output is working. Let's demonstrate this. The video cap cable is not connected to the motherboard and let's power on the server. We need to wait until the numlock key is lit and after that we will connect the VGA video cable. And most of the time uh, it is shown that the video uh, output is working. And this is also in the management uh, console, the remote management console of the BMC. So let's wait for the numlock key. Still waiting. Yeah, there we have them. Let's press the delete key to enter the BIOS and let's plug in the cable. And look at that, we got video. 
So I think this problem is related with the firmware of the management console because the VGA in the block uh, diagram is is positioned after uh, the BMC uh, management server. So I hope Gigabyte will uh, will try to replicate this problem. Interesting is when I now press Ctrl Alt Delete to re to soft reboot the server. At this point, Ctrl Delete. The video is gone and the problem still exists. So even when at this stage, uh, after a soft reboot, uh, um, the video output has stopped working and will not come uh, on. Uh, and this is also on the BMC um, management console. So, Gigabyte technical support guys, I hope you take this problem seriously and uh, try to uh, replicate this uh, problem. And uh, like I said, I think this uh, problem is related with the firmware of the BMC or maybe with the firmware uh, of the, the BIOS. So I hope uh, this can uh, be fixed so I can uh, take this uh, server into uh, production. Thank you for watching.